There are four dogs, each at the corner of a large square. There are four dogs, each at the corner of a large square. Each of the dogs begins chasing the dog clockwise from it. All of the dogs run at the same speed. All continuously adjust their direction so that they are always heading straight toward their clockwise neighbor. How long does it take for the dogs to catch each other? Where does this happen? Let's us usually try to visualize your puzzle and draw a square. To be clear, all four dogs moving with constant speed, that is dog 1 approaches dog 2 with same speed, as dog 2 approaches dog 3. Instead of dog we will place a circle at each corner and make a first step. Because dogs always heading straight toward their clockwise neighbor with the same speed, the direction of motion of adjacent dogs due to the symmetry of the problem is always perpendicular. Basically this means that every new step all four dogs remains in square with less diagonal. Thus, if we put the successive positions of dogs are applied at certain intervals, we will get curves described by vertices rotating and simultaneously squaring squares. Now it is clear that the dogs meet right in the middle of the square. We have answered on the second question, but what about time that it take to get to the center? Let's give the names of each dog, Anna, Bertha, Colin, Daniel. Consider any two dogs located in two adjacent tops of the square, for example Anna and Bertha. At each moment of time, Bertha moves at a right angle to Anna, running towards her, since Anna always runs towards Bertha, and Bertha always runs to Colin. All four dogs are always at the tops of the square. Since Bertha never runs to Anna and runs away from her, i.e. she does not move faster or slower Anna, their speed and direction relative to the other are constant. Each time Anna runs through one meter, Bertha also runs one meter. Let's denote these segments in yellow. When Anna runs another meter, Bertha also runs another meter. The distance Anna traveled relative to the distance Bertha passed does not change. That its movement does not increase and does not reduce the distance separating them, and when counting the time by motion, it can be neglected, thus the situation is as if Bertha remained in her corner of the room, and Anna runs to her along the wall. This is the key to solving the problem. The curvilinear path of Anna must coincide in length with the side of the initial square. Let each side of the square be 300 meters, and the speed of each dog 1 minute per second. In this case, Anna must reach Bertha in 300 seconds, this is 5 minutes. The same can be said about other dogs. Therefore, all dogs will meet in the center of the room after 5 minutes. Can you generalize the problem to the case where the initial position of the points is located at the vertices of any regular polygon, for example, a triangle or a five sides polygon? Thanks for watching.